Are you born? I want to show you today how to make something really healthy first thing in the morning. I'm here in the beautiful organic gardens of the Moratua Centre of the MJF and here we have an incredible selection of beautiful fresh herbs and spices. I'm going to make a candor, which we all know. I'm just trying to remind you that it is so important that we get away from bread and butter and sugar and the starchy things and start eating the way our ancestors used to eat. But I'm going to concentrate on one thing that all of you know about, pennywort or gotukola. So gotukola, we all know, it's good for memory loss, it's good for circulation, they say it's good for phlegm as well. You can just pick some. We all know what this tree is, right? Curry pincher or curry leaf. It's in every single curry that you make. Do you know why? I know it tastes good. You can just fry it, you can make a sambal, you can do all kinds of things. Um, I know it's good for digestion, for your respiratory, for skin problems. But most of all, it's green, it's good for your health. This is uh, something quite unique to Asia. You in Sri Lanka know it very well, Val Penila. It's a, uh, supposedly an aphrodisiac, but I know it more as something that's cooling. You make it the same way as candor with, with, with any other herb, basically. So with this, I'm going to pluck and also add it to the candor. So here I am in this beautiful old kitchen, an old Kajan shed, really, all made of clay, just like the old days. And that's what we're cooking today. We're cooking food that is hundreds of years old, food that is so good for you. And it's very, very, very simple. You can still reproduce it today very cheaply and quickly. So we have our ingredients. We have the beautiful gotukola. We have some karapincha. We also have some of that amazing red rice. Now the red rice is so beautiful because it's unpolished. Unpolished rice is good for your digestion, is good for your health. Then coconut. Now we have the standard coconut. You have to climb the tree, you have to scrape the coconut, the traditional way we know. But another alternative in our busy lives is coconut milk powder. This is as close as you can get as a replacement. Lastly, you can also use the tinned coconut cream. Now this is okay, but you have to think that when they put something in a can, they pass it through heat, so it changes a little bit. So I would recommend fresh or the coconut milk powder. The only other ingredients, salt, pepper, some onion and garlic. And it's very easy. To start, the rice has been washed and just putting a cup full of rice in, a little bit of onion and garlic for flavor, some salt and a bit of pepper, and then water and you need about eight times the amount of water so about eight cups to one cup of rice that needs to cook so now to make the juice this is the important part it's got to be strong it's got to be concentrated not too much water using a little bit of all the herbs i'm just going to push them into a blender water and then just blend it. Now, I just wanna say, you can see that I didn't add more water, and that's important. We wanna get the pure juice. So once it starts blending, then you can lift the lid and keep adding more gotukola to it. That way you'll get a very concentrated, thick juice. Once it's really well blended, you need a strainer and a spoon, and you need to push this beautiful juice through the machine. Now, if you have a, a liquidizer, or if you even have a cold pressing machine, even better, because then you can really get the extract. But if you've only got this blender, it doesn't matter, because you are going to get all the goodness out of this blender. You're going to get all the goodness out of this gotukola mix. And all that's left now is just the fiber. So you can see here, I have a beautiful dark green juice, which is what I'm going to add once the rice is cooked. So we need to make sure 
that the rice is nice and soft. You can see if you squeeze it, it all breaks up. Last stage is to add, firstly, the coconut cream, which you put in, and you put that in, turn the flame back on. Once it comes to the boil, stir it. Your rice will be nice and soft, will start to explode now, will break into pieces, and that means that your canter's thickening by itself. Once it's all combined and that beautiful aroma comes through, turn it off. And then, lastly, we'll add this beautiful gotikola juice, and it is stunning. The color has come up vibrant green, and the last thing to do is just to taste it. The flavors are great. You can taste the rice, you can taste the coconut, but most of all, that fresh gotikola flavor comes through really, really nicely. Now, my suggestion to store this, because now your day is starting. Now you're starting to have to do all the things that you have to do in the house to get everyone out of there, get everyone to school. Buy a thermos, put this in the thermos, put it on your kitchen table. Then your family can come as they wake and as they get ready for work. Some can take it to work, others can have it there before they go. They'll leave healthy and full. If you want to serve it, I've always got a plate that you can put it on as well. Put some fresh gotikola leaves on top. A little bit of pepper. So here it is, a bowl full of ancient goodness, brought to you by the gardens of the MJF Centre in Moratua, but you can do it at home. And that is what we're trying to tell you. Eat healthy, live long. Kanda, with beautiful gotukola, some curry leaves, and of course, lots of love. Now there's one thing I have to say to you, do not add the sugar, because the juggery will reverse all the good effects that we're trying to get you to give your family. Please enjoy this, brought to you from nature, and that's the way all of us should be eating. Thank you.